and thank you for joining us. Today is June 5th on 1967. My name is Dani Kushmao. As you heard, six days have passed and some people think it might be the last day of the world. Danny Cooper is going to the land to his land and he's going to tell us what's going on. Thank you, Danny. I'm here reporting live from the uh, Sinai Desert. I want to remind you that not long ago, leaders of four different Arab countries, Syria, Jordan, Egypt, and Iraq, sat together and had a big agreement, agreement that said that, that they're all going to harm and attack Israel at the same time as four big United Armies. In addition, they all wanted to, to harm the Israeli economy by shutting down Mitzvah Iran, which, were, which was a way for Israeli ships to bring merchandise and goods to Israel. This harmed uh, the Israeli economy very bad. The leaders of Israel tried to solve this problem in many diplomatic ways. They tried to talk to the Arab leaders, but with no help. It made us, we didn't have a choice but taking the next step. The Israeli government decided to send the Israeli Air Force to attack the Egypt, the Egypt airport. That's because Egypt is one of the most well-trained, big, threatening armies on Israel. The Egypt army, on the other hand, was really surprised. And this is why the attack succeeded. The entire Air Force was completely out of order. The success caused frightened and feared by the, by the Egypt army and they all ran away from Sinai. So we got this whole big, huge piece of land of Sinai, which really made the Israeli army feel like we own this war. Thank you, Danny. Back to you. Thank you, Buddy Cooper. As you know, when Israel was first established on 1948, these were our borders, all the white paths. But as you heard, right now, we have new borders. The Israeli army goes through Gaza and we get all Sinai. It's unbelievable. Look at our new border. Israel duplicated itself. It's amazing. Oh, I have new news. Gadi, Gadi? Thank you, Gadi. Right now, I'm here in Ramat Golan and I want to tell you we only got to this place because we had no other chance. Out of the agreement that all the four Arab states had, one, one of the things that the Syria agreed to do is to shut down one of the most important res uh, water resources in Israel, the rivers, who goes to the Kinneret. The Syrian decided to stop the water and prevent them from getting to the citizens of Israel. Now, when we have no water, we have nothing to live from, so we really had no choice but getting to um, going and to get this land of Ramat Golan. so we did. And right now we have it, and it's actually a beautiful piece of land who has a lot of mountains, a lot of rivers, also has the beautiful mountain of the Hermon in, in it. And it's a great, uh, great, another win, winning thing for Israel in this six-day war. Back to you, Dani. Thank you, Gadi. So just now, as we heard, the Golan, that was under Syrian control, has become in our hands. And look what happened to our borders. It's amazing. Oh, oh, I'm getting a message right now from Gadi Kupfer on the field on your Davish. Thank you, Gadi. Right now I'm here in the beautiful Judah and Samaria, um, in the middle of Israel. I don't know if you remember what we had this very big narrow borders issue. Uh, at the beginning of our state and right now when we got the Samaria we solved it actually the way we got it is the Jordanian army decided to declare a very big war on us and this was just a great opportunity for us to finally have the promised land where our father went through uh, during all the Tanakh we finally had the opportunity to to fill this land with our feet and, and finally to have it, by the way, in the Samaria, one of your Bnot would live there. It's a beautiful place. I'm so glad that we finally got it. Uh, it's another great winning for the Jewish nation in the Six Day War. Thank you. Back to you, Danny. Thank you for coming back to us. So that's me. It's all the red area, Yudavishon Ward. It was 
under Jovian control is in our hands now. And look what is this. Here is Yerushalayim. Since 1948, Yerushalayim was divided. The Arab East part and the Jewish West part. Let's see what's going to right now. Oh, Gedi, you, you can't believe it. You can't actually believe it, okay? This this situation is crazy. Whoa, okay. The, I'm right here in Yerushalayim. I'm in Yerushalayim, okay? And there have been a 70, 72 hours f fight right here. The, the soldiers, oh, the parachuters, they, they fight so hard. And the parachutes from uh, Unit 55, they fought, they fought so hard. And just right now, at this moment, I was just told that they, they went through the, the Lion Gate, okay? They went through the Lion Gate. This is so exciting. You can't even imagine, okay? For, uh, uh, since we established Israel over 19 years, the, no, no one from the Jewish nation never had any access to our most holy places, okay? And right now, it may be happening, okay? The people, they actually went through the Lion Gate into the eighth city. They, they might, they might, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm getting a message right now. I'm getting it. They said it. Harabait Benedeno. They said it. Have you heard it? Have you heard it? They said it. They, they finally had Harabai. They finally had the Temple Mountain. This, wow, this is amazing. This is a moment that the Jews have been dreaming of over 2,000 years and, and, a and another 19 years right now since we have the State of Israel. This is so excited. They're, they're, this is so exciting. They're actually going into the Kotel. They're actually going to Davin at the place of our own temple. It, it's amazing. This this is really unbelievable. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry. I have to run. I'm going there. Guys, I can't believe it. Look at it. Look at the gate. Look at Shara Arayot. Look at the Lion Gate. It's open. It's actually open. Okay, the parachuters, they just went through it. They just got into the ancient city. This is amazing. We, we just heard Motegu Mute, calling, uh, calling and saying that, that they, they went through Shara Arayot. They got into the ancient city. This is so exciting. Okay, I have, I have to go through it. I have to go it, and maybe I'll get to see the wall. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I, I'm actually, actually standing near the western wall. The western wall that which we, we Jews all around the world dream to get to over 2,000 years. This is, this is thrilling. This is unbelievable. I can't believe that I'm actually here. This moment, this moment is gonna remain remembered in every heart of every Jew all around the world. And, and you know what? And you know what? From now on, since the state of Israel, heaven, so every Jew all around the world can finally get the get to the Kotel. Every Jew, every Jew can just come and dive in and just make it just makes our dream come true. The huge dream of davening where where our Beit Hamikdash used to be. It's really it's it's thrilling. It's I, I can't even explain how amazing that is. Oh, hold on! I'm hearing something. Okay, I'm gonna get closer. Okay, I'm gonna get closer. Wow, wow, wow! I have gone is now blowing the shofar because of this incredible event of us getting to getting to the kotel. It's this is so amazing. Wow, they're actually. Oh, I, I think I think he says Shechan. Wait, guys, let's listen to it. <laughs> Wow, Arav Goren, 
he just blowed the shofar and he made a bracha and he, he, he actually said shecheyanu because all of us, the Jewish nation, finally got to the Kotel. This is amazing. This is incredible and indescribable, really. Okay, I'm so excited. Back to you, back to you, Danny. We hear now unbelievable news. Yerushalayim, this was divided 19 years since Israel was established. Now it's going to belong only for us. Akotel Amaravi, the place, the, the holiest place in the world that Am Israel was diving for years, now in our hands. And each single Jew all over the world can come and dive in, in this holiest place. It's amazing. Look at Israel map now. Hagolan in our hands. Yehuda and Shomron, Sinai and Yerushalayim. It's really amazing. There is a crazy excitement all over the world. Jews from Israel and from all over the world come to Dagon in the holiest place, in the Kotel. It's the first time. And from this point, each single Jew can come to the Kotel and send to Hashem and Davin in the place of Beth and Dash. So now, Yerushalayim is On Kafret Beya. On this special day, we travel the streets of Ira Kodesh, thanking the Shem by saying Alel and holding special ceremonies all over Israel. But this year, this year is going to be more special. Because this year it's going to be exactly 50 years since the parachuters went th straight through the line gates, straight into the Kotel, and finally got there first time over 2,000 years. 50 years! Exactly 50 years. So, this is why we're going to celebrate in a very special way. We're going to have a Yerushalayim event. Okay, every class is going to have a special dance of our own. And we're going to all perform. It's going to be on February 10th. Okay, and you're asking what song you're going to dance to? Well, you're going to vote for it right now. So guys, are you ready for the vote? Are you ready? Are we are ready? beginning right now. Right now. Woohoo!